guys, Gabriel Varga here. Today we're gonna talk about scarring. You know, it's part of our fight sport, whether you're in MMA, boxing, kickboxing, you get scars. If you are in a fight and you're getting cut or cut at the gym, you're having scarring. You know, a lot of people say that, oh, you know, the, the, the scars look cool on guys. But you know, I've always been the guy who's just like, you know what, I would rather be the fighter who doesn't look like a fighter. I'm somebody who, if I wanna continue fighting until I'm 40, I don't wanna look like I'm 50 by the time I hit that age because all the scars on my face and I'm looking all gnarled. I wanna look, you know, 30 or 35 when I'm 40. And I personally have had, I think, I, have, I stopped keeping track. I have over 60 stitches across my eyebrows, down through here, a couple on my forehead, a lot of them from headbutts, but they're still scars. They were still making my face look a little bit, uh, how would you describe it? Haggard. It'll be a little bit haggard now. It was getting <laughs> haggard, yeah it was. So let's talk today about a couple techniques that my wife has taught me because she is a... Board certified aesthetic nurse specialist since 2011. So basically that means that you specialize in... I help keeping... people look great. Yeah, and... I work with a lot of male celebrities. Guys want to look good too. Especially like you, like you take such good care of your physique you feel good and you want to look good also. So that's where I come in. Yeah, so let's talk first about if you do get a cut in a fight or in training, uh, I didn't know that there's really anything I could do with the scar. Before mm -hmm. you came along, I would just, I would get the cut and I would get the stitches and I would just leave it. Mm -hmm. And quite often the scar would look quite red after. Right. For months, even sometimes years yeah. after it would look red. Post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Okay, and then you suggested uh, to use your fingers, in between your fingers, to get the skin and to basically massage. Yeah, so you're releasing adhesions. So do you want to explain to everybody a little bit more about the detail behind that? Like how long they should be doing it, how often? Yeah, when, like... I mean massaging when you're putting your ointment on, like maybe not really for the first week when it's open, but after it's closed, every time you put on your moisturizer, just massage the area a little bit, press on it, just to kind of help to break up some scar tissue as best you can. So let's go back a step because what I used to do in the past was probably like most fighters, you get a cut, the guy, the doctor's maybe like, oh, put this, put this ointment on for a week after. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and we're a fighter, no, we don't it. really care. We're like, ah, two or three days. So I would put ointment on for two or three days. So now that you've taken me through the correct steps, how long should we be putting, you said moisturizer, but you need some sort of ointment to keep the, the scar from getting sort of crested and... Well, you use your antibiotic ointment while it's healing. Your doctor will go over all of this mm -hmm. and use it for what's recommended. But then after that, you always want to be feeding your skin with a really slick moisturizer that's got a bunch of active ingredients like antioxidants and peptides. Okay, so let's say somebody gets a cut on Saturday night. Should they be waiting a week until they start massaging? Let all the, let all the, uh, the scars, or sorry, not the scars, let all the stitches uh, be removed first yep, yep. and then right away they can start massaging yeah as soon as the skin's closed and you can start to use your moisturizer when you're putting your products on just spend a little extra time and just massage that area and then how long would you suggest like 30 just, seconds yeah. five minutes no just like a minute a just minute? get some like mobility of the tissue to release adhesions but microneedling at home is definitely could be your next step. All right, so let's talk a little bit about that because again, I used to just you know put the ointment on for a couple days and I would just leave it and that was it. Mm -hmm. And then you taught me to, in between my fingertips, just to, to take the scar and gently massage it. It's and like then... rolling a cigarette almost. Like if you're, um, you know, rolling, imagine, I mean, we don't smoke, right? But that motion of, of the paper between your fingers, I had a massage therapist explain it to me that way once. Okay. It's like rolling a cigarette. All right, so once we're done that and we've got everything sorted and the, the, the adhesions under the skin are a little bit less uh, noticeable, then you were talking about rolling and microneedling. So let's talk yeah. to everybody a little bit about that because that for me, um, you know, between all of the, the damage my face had taken, number one, being out in the sun a lot, but number two, getting- Well, yeah, you have convert convertible. So yeah. Your forehead took a beating. Took a beating there, but also, you know, having all the, the stitches and the scars throughout and the, the face. And acne, that didn't help. So um, let's tell everybody about this little tool here that uh, I've been using now for about five, six, seven years, maybe. Hey everyone, meet Dermo Roller. So otherwise known as at-home microneedling or collagen induction therapy. And basically, if you look up close to this little thing, there's 
a ton of little needles on it. Very, very tiny. So when you go along the skin, it doesn't hurt. No. Guys do not like pain. So this is a really nice option for at home that isn't gonna hurt and it's not like a painful laser treatment or something like that. And it doesn't make you red. So basically what these little needles do on a really good medical grade roller, this is a company uh, that I've been working with for nearly a decade. They've been making rollers for like 30 years, since the 90s. They did the initial collagen induction studies. If you're curious about dermal rolling, you can always book a one-on-one -on -one consult with me. Basically you're going like up and down about 10 times paintbrush like pressure, lifting it up, moving, doing a separate section, lifting it up, doing another section. So you're basically doing like a plus and then also an X. So each direction is about you know, 10 to 12 times, right? So you're totally covering like your whole cheek area, your temple, then your forehead, and then going along like your nose here, your upper lip. Guys like plump lips too. And then whenever I finish rolling my face, I'm always putting on some sort of product. And when I used to have more acne, I'd you know, go to the drugstore, sort of PharmaSafe or something like that, and I'd buy the run of the mill. Um, face soap and it was always a little bit difficult for me to keep my face fairly clear and then once again you got me on the the micro needling and then proper products medical grade skincare medical grade skincare. backed by research high levels of active ingredients like antioxidants peptides yeah so it seems kind of kind of like I have a whole routine going it's not it's not very manly it's not the, the what you think the fighter is doing but I have this whole routine I, I use the micro needle and then after I wash my face with the medical grade skincare, I use that. And then you have me put on the, the products. What yeah, so you like, cleanse, then you roll. Yeah. And then after these guys, for you, I have you on two serums. Okay. It's got like copper peptide, hyaluronic acid, retinol, vitamin B, vitamin A, glutathione. But it's different for everybody. So you have to meet with the provider to figure out what's right for you. Yeah, a whole, a whole bunch of stuff. But really, it's, it's helped me stay a little younger looking even Skin's though amazing. even though I'm getting punched in the face all the time and getting cut and getting scars and having people rub up against my face and um, yeah I mean the actual the actual skin that, that I have now on my forehead in particular actually looks better than it did uh, 10 years ago you look younger than when I first laid out of eyes on you I don't, I don't know if I actually look younger you younger but my skin my skin looks less beat up Mm -hmm. Face shape always changes and such, but yeah, definitely, definitely uh, the skin is looking better. So anyway, if you want to help your scars look better, make them a little bit less haggard looking, make sure you utilize the technique in between the fingers, get that scar just gentle pulsing up and down, up and down, and then you can do the micro needling and you can also have what you gotta it is. use the right products. And then you have to have the products on Medical top of Medical grade skincare. Yeah. And it always surprised me too that a lot of people might not realize that all the actors, all the male actors that you see, yeah, all those type of guys. I used to just think, you know, like all oh, those guys are just, the, they're the luckiest guys in the world. They just look like that. Just good genes. Just good genes. You see guys like The Rock aging so well and then Rach can yeah. go and look at him and, and sort of list out all the procedures and the stuff that he's had done. And I'm going, no, 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 he must, he just looks like that. She's going, no, I can tell. So. Yeah, don't, don't ever think that your ego is gonna take a beating if you're, you're taking care of yourself. I do it now, it's, it's helped my face. It's taken these 60 stitches plus that I have on my face and made them look less, yeah. less haggard. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode today. It's a little different, but especially for somebody like myself, I wanna compete potentially until I'm 40, but I don't wanna look like I'm 50 when I'm 40 because my skin's all haggard and I have cuts everywhere and the scars are getting deep. So everything that my wife has helped me with has helped my skin look so much better and, and that's fantastic because again, I wanna stay looking young and healthy. If you guys are interested in finding out more about these products, you can talk with my wife. She does virtual consultations. She's done uh, loads of these with male celebrities from around the world. She's been doing this for years. You can find the link down below to her website where you can book with her. Keep in mind this is a great surprise, a great treat for your significant other. If you have a wife or a girlfriend, most girls love taking care of their skin so they can also meet with Rach and yeah. They'll, you can they'll, do it together too. I actually love doing yeah, couples consults. There you go. And they'll love you for it because this, this this product for me, I mean, I'm a guy, I'm a fighter. It's not something that's crazy high on my priority list, I thought, until I started doing it. And then I'm like, oh, I actually like looking younger. Oh my gosh. Okay. Every girl secretly wants their boyfriend or husband to like buy this stuff for them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining today. 
Train hard, and I'll see you back here soon for another episode.